What's going on everyone, Dots Gaming here, and today I bring you guys a beginner overview to the Hunter class in World of Warcraft, giving you an introduction to the class and some beginner setups you can use to get used to the class and its mechanics. Now, if you're brand new to WoW and are watching this video, I do recommend checking out my World of Warcraft Complete Beginner Guide, which will teach you all of the non-class specific things that you need to know to get yourself started in World of Warcraft. Link for that can be found in the description below but without further ado let's get into today's video covering the hunter class The Hunter is a damage dealing class that can play either melee or ranged. The Hunter in World of Warcraft is your stereotypical ranger class, with the ability to use a ranged or melee weapon to fight their foes all while their trusty companion by their side helps them in the battling of their enemies. The Hunter is a pure damage dealing class, meaning that it has no healing or tank specialization. However, each of the different Hunter specs focuses on something a bit different, giving you a different feel based off of which specialization you choose. Beast Mastery Hunters focus on mastering the command of their animal companions and building a powerful synergy with their companions by bringing several, several bonuses to both their own and their pet's abilities. Meanwhile, Marksmanship Hunters are skilled sharpshooters focusing on defeating their opponents through powerful ranged attacks and they can choose to completely forego a pet to give themselves a damage boost or use their pet primarily for support and let's say fighting or tanking enemies to take some pressure off of the hunter themselves finally survival hunters the melee specialization of the class are rangers who can engage enemies up close or even at mid-range using their pet high mobility utility and damage over time skills to wear down their enemy hunters use a resource called focus to cast their skills which does regenerate slowly over time or can be instantly restored with other skills one of the great benefits that the hunter range specs has is that many spells can be used while moving unlike the many of the other casters in world of warcraft in addition hunters can start wearing leather armor but are eventually able to use male armor they also primarily use agility as their stat to deal damage and have the ability to wield bows, guns, crossbows, pole arms, swords, axes, and stabs. Now the following builds that I have for you guys are going to be tailored towards new players looking to make your rotation as easy and straightforward as possible while adding as few additional skills to your action bars. Now if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, I do recommend checking out Icy Veins or Wowhead for the builds more tailored toward, let's say, endgame raids, Mythic Plus, and Raided PvP. Thankfully though, the builds that I have for you guys today don't really differentiate too much from the advanced versions, so... That's, that's one good thing. At least Hunters have a lot of passive be uh, bonuses through their talent specs. But before we get into those builds, though, I do just want to touch on the pet specializations as knowing what pet to use plays an important role in playing your Hunter. Hunter pets fall into three categories, Ferocity, Tenacity, and Cunning. An easy way to think of it as a new player is that Ferocity pets focus on dealing high damage, Tenacity pets focus on being tanky and protecting the Hunter, while Cunning pets provide group utility. What I'd personally recommend is having a Ferocity pet for questing and group dungeons such uh, and group content such as dungeons and raids, having a Cunning pet, namely a Raptor for PvP, because Raptors have a special ability that provi uh, puts a healing debuff on your enemies cool thing about pets in world of warcraft is they all have a different unique ability based off of the type of uh beast that they actually are and finally i'd also recommend grabbing a tenacity pet in case you feel you or your pets having trouble staying alive while questing and since hunters can have up to five pets at once that they can choose from but only one can be active except for in the case of bm but i'll get into that in a sec you could also store more in the stables. So besides those three that I mentioned, the, the Ferocity, the Raptor for Cunning, and a single Tenacity pet in case you want to have a tank pet, rest of it's totally up to you. Um, a good place, though, to look into pets is wowpetopia.com, and I'll have a link in the description below. But with all of those pet specializations explained, let's move into our talent builds. We are going to be kicking it off with Beast Mastery, the person and the hunter that focuses primarily on their pets, with our first talent being Animal Companion. So you call an additional Animal Companion from your stable to help you fight your enemies. The pet will also respond to your kill command, which is a skill that causes your pets to attack a certain target for instant damage, making the ability even more deadly. So you'll basically be able to call a second pet that you have in your arsenal to help fight with you. 
The second talent is going to be one with the pack, and this talent makes your auto attacks have a 20% chance to reset the cooldown on Barbed Shot, which is one of your primary attacks. This will allow you to more easily maintain the bleed that this skill puts on your enemies and the focus regeneration that it provides to you. Our third talent is going to be Natural Mending. Now, this talent lowers the cooldown of Exhilaration, your primary burst heal, with the more focus or your resource that you spend. Our fourth talent is going to be Thrill of the Hunt, which is a passive talent that gives you a 3% increased critical strike the more you use Barb Shot up to three stacks. So this gives us a nice critical boost and promotes correct use of Barb Shot. Just a very good talent overall. Our fifth talent is going to be Post Haste, which makes your Disengage, a skill that has you leap backwards from your enemy, uh, even stronger by giving you a burst of speed and removing all movement impairing effects after you use it. Our sixth talent is going to be Stomp, and now this makes your Barbed Shot cause your pet to stomp the ground, dealing physical damage to enemies. So this will not only make your Barbed Shot put a dot on your opponent and restore focus to you, as I mentioned earlier, but you'll also be gaining the critical from Thrill of the Hunt, and then this talent for instant damage. All the meanwhile, your auto attacks will have a chance to reset Barbed Shot thanks to one with the pack. The seventh talent is going to be Aspect of the Beast, which is a passive that gives you an incredibly strong damage boost by giving your pet a 30% damage and healing boost, all while making your pet's passive bonus from the type of pet that it is 50% stronger. Now, if you do decide to take your Beast Mastery Hunter into PvP, these are the talents that I would recommend taking, with the first one being Survival Tactics. Now, this is a PvP talent that increases the strength of your Fain Death by having it reduce the damage you take by 99% for one and a half seconds and causes you to remove all harmful magical effects. The second PvP talent I recommend is Roar of Sacrifice. The skill has your pet give you or an ally a buff that prevents the target from receiving critical hits, but a portion of damage is transferred to the pet, so that is something to keep in mind. Our third PvP talent is going to be a Wild Protector, and this gives you and your allies a passive damage reduction by having your pet protect anyone it's near within eight yards reducing damage taken by 10%. Now, in terms of a recommended pet, before I get into the rotation, I do recommend using a Spirit Beast or a Core Hound. Now, Spirit Beasts are technically Tenacity pets, while Core Hounds are Ferocity pets. And I know in the intro, I said typically you use Ferocity for dungeons and raids, but Beast Mastery is a little bit different. BM Hunters can actually tame special pets that the other two hunter specializations are not able to tame due to the fact that bm hunters have an affinity towards their animal companions so spirit beasts even though they're technically tenacity pets become favored for the group content just because it is a the special pet that bm could use on the other hand core hounds and other really and uh, other like exotic ferocity pets do make really good pets for questing so that is something else to keep in mind now, moving into a rotation, since BM Hunters have a lot of talents that focus on Barb Shot, it makes the rotation relatively straightforward, making this a great specialization for newer players. You want to simply focus on maintaining Barb Shot on your enemy and then just using Kill Command on cooldown. You'll then want to use Barb Shot as it gets close to having two charges, or when you get a proc from Wild Call that puts it at two charges, or if that bleed's about to wear off because you really want to make sure you maintain that bleed. Now, if the bleed doesn't need to be refreshed, if you're not maxed out at two charges, while Kill Command is also on cooldown, just simply fill with Cobra Shot or Multi Shot if there's a ton of enemies. It's a pretty straightforward three button rotation that you'll get used to quickly, but the big thing is that you just don't want to be uh, capping out at more than two charges with Barb Shot, but you don't want to burn them in quick succession because you do want to be able to maintain that bleed. So if you just simply follow the priority that I mentioned, you know, just just now uh it'll be you'll be sure that you are maintaining barb shot as often as po as much as possible while not capping out and wasting potential damage so you can see the rotation here on the screen now when you do want to go into some more offense you're going to want to pop your bestia wrath and aspect of the wilds whenever you want to deal some big damage now while you are in a group you're going to want to use primal rage from your ferocity pets right when the big boss fight starts to give you and your group a massive haste buff increasing the speed at which everyone can use their skills but that is if you are choosing to use the ferocity pet you're going to also want to use kill shot when your enemy is below 20 percent hp for a big burst of damage defensively use disengage to get away from your enemies or a negative spell in a pinch all while granting yourself a nice burst of speed if you need even more speed you could also use aspect of the cheetah you're going to want to use Exhilaration when you need a big heal and Men Pet if your pet needs one. If you're taking a ton of damage and you need to stop it and escape, you could pop Aspect of the Turtle. Also, you can use Intimidation to stun your enemies and relieve some pressure off of yourself for a short time. Freezing Trap is a good tool if you want to CC a particular enemy while you fight other ones, because if you do damage the enemy that's frozen, the trap will break. 
And then finally, Tar Trap and Concussive Shot are good for slowing down enemies so that they have trouble reaching you. Now, when you are gearing up your Hunter, there are other stats on your gear called secondary stats, such as Critical Strike, Haste, Versatility, and Mastery. And these are the priority in which you're going to want to be searching for those stats. Critical Strike is the most important. Haste and Versatility share equal importance, followed by Mastery. Now, in terms of Shadowlands specific information for Covenants, for pretty much all of the Hunter specs, I'm going to recommend Kyrian because the ability that you get from it is really strong. And then for the recommended Legendary for BM, I recommend the Memory of Soulforge Embers so that when you drop your Tar Trap onto the ground, you can shoot a Flare into it to deal damage, giving you another powerful AoE dot in your arsenal. Now, moving into Marksmanship Hunters, the masters of dealing damage from a far distance, big burst damage. We have the first talent is Master Marksman. Your ranged special attacks that deal crit damage cause the target to bleed for 15% of the damage over six seconds, giving you some nice consistent pressure against your enemies. Our next talent is going to be Careful Aim. This talent causes aim shot, your strong hard hitting shot, to deal 50% bonus damage to targets who are above 70% health, making it incredibly strong against high HP enemies to give you a big burst of damage. Aim shot may hit hard, but it is one of the few hunter skills that does require you to stand still to get it off. Our third talent is a Natural Mending, lowering the cooldown of Exhilaration, your primary burst heal, with the more focus that you spend. Our next talent is going to be Streamlined. Now, this increases the damage of your Rapid Fire skill, which is a skill where you just shoot a ton of projectiles at an enemy uh, by 15%, and then it causes your aim shot to be cast, your next aim shot to be cast 30% faster, making these two skills really strong to use in conjunction. Our next talent is going to be Boast Haste, making your Disengage, a skill that makes you leap backwards away from your enemy, even stronger by giving you a burst of speed and removing movement impairing effects after you use it. Our next talent is going to be Lethal Shots, giving you your Arcane Shot and Multi Shot, which are two instant cast special attacks that you have, a chance to reduce the cooldown on Rapid Fire, which will give you the opportunity to get more benefit out of Streamline. Our last talent is going to be Lock and Load, which gives your range auto attacks a small chance to make your next aim shot completely free and instant cast, allowing you to cast one of your strongest skills while on the move. Now, if you do choose to venture into PvP as a Marksman Hunter, these are the talents that I would recommend, with our first talent being Survival Tactics, a PvP talent that increases the strength of your Feign Death by having it reduce the damage taken by 99% for 1.5 seconds and causing you to remove all harmful magical effects. Our next talent is going to be Roar of Sacrifice, giving you or an ally a buff that prevents the target from receiving critical hits, but a portion of the damage is transferred to the pet. Our last talent is going to be Scattershot, which encaps the target for a short period of time and removes any effects that even might break this and because incapacitates do break on damage and this is really handy because it allows you to put a trap at your enemy's feet such as let's say a free uh, freezing trap so that you can uh trap an enemy in place now before we get into rotation i do just want to talk a little bit about the pets for marksmanship hunter because typically you actually will not run one because marksmanship hunter is getting a 10 percent damage boost from having no pet out thanks to the lone wolf passive so if you do want to play a hunter spec that doesn't have a pet this is going to be a really good one for you the only time you might want to consider a pet is maybe for pvp for because raptors give you access to a strong healing debuff or if you're, let's say, having trouble while questing without a pet, uh, feel free to grab a Ferocity or Tenacity pet for those pet bonuses. I know personally, if I was questing on a Marksmanship Chip Hunter, I, I would run a pet myself. Now, in terms of actually dealing damage, you're going to want to use Rapid Fire on cooldown to make sure that you're gaining the benefits from Streamline and then using Aim Shot on cooldown following that. After you use Aim Shot, you're going to want to follow it up with one or two Arcane Shots as one of your passive's precise shots increases the damage of your next one to two arcane shots following aim shot 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 shots continue to use arcane shot while your focus is high against one target or multi shot if there are multiple targets when you're low on focus and rapid fire and aim shot on our cooldown use steady shot to generate focus back now in terms of your offense when you want to do big damage you're going to want to use true shot when you deal a big burst of when you want to deal a big burst of damage you're going to use basically the same rotation that i just mentioned but you're going to be executing it much faster because true shot reduces the cooldown of rapid fire and 
aim shot significantly. You're going to want to use kill shot when your enemy is below 20% HP for a huge burst of damage. Defensively, I would recommend using disengage to get away from enemies or a negative spell in a pinch, all while giving yourself a nice burst of speed. And if you do feel you need to move even faster, aspect of the cheetah is there for you. You could also use exhilaration when you need a big heal in a pinch or mend a pet if you have a pet while questing and it needs to be healed. Um, if you're taking a ton of damage, you need to stop it so you can escape. Aspect of the turtle is going to be really helpful. If you do need to CC a particular enemy while you fight other ones, use Freezing Trap. But like I did say earlier, Freezing Trap does break on damage, so do keep that in mind. Binding Shot, Tar Trap, and Concussive Shot are all good for slowing and rooting enemies so they have a lot of trouble reaching you. And then Bursting Shot is a good tool for the Marksmanship Hunters to blast targets away from you if you do feel overwhelmed by enemies and want to create some space. In terms of a stat priority for secondary stats on gear, I'd recommend prioritizing Critical Strike for the big burst of damage on Marksman Hunter, followed by Mastery, Versatility, and then Haste being your least important stat. In terms of our Shadowland-specific information, in terms of Covenant, again, I do recommend Kyrian. The spell from Kyrian is insanely strong, especially for Marksmanship Hunters. And then in terms of recommended Legendaries, I do recommend the Memory of Surging Shots. Now to get into our final spec, we're going to be talking about my favorite hunter spec, the Survival Hunter, the melee hunter with a huge focus on dot pressure, with our first talent being Alpha Predator, giving your kill command two charges and increasing its damage by 30%. This is really helpful for survival because in this spec, kill command is actually a focus generator. The second talent that I'm going to recommend is Gorilla Tactics, which gives your Wildfire Bomb, which is like an AoE conal skill that you have that puts a dot on all enemies hit and it gives this a second charge and increases the damage of the initial hit by 100%. The third talent is going to be Natural Mending, lowering the cooldown of Exhilaration, your primary burst deal, the more focus that you spend. Uh, fourth talent is going to be Blood Seeker, which gives your kill command a very strong dot when you attack an enemy, uh, when the attack from your pet from kill command actually lands. And this causes you and your pet to also gain 10% attack speed for every bleeding enemy within 12 yards, comboing extremely well with our first talent, Alpha Predator. Our next talent is going to be Post Haze, which makes your disengage a skill that makes you leap backwards even stronger, giving you a burst of speed and removing movement impairing effects after you use it. Our next talent is going to be Mongoose Bite. It replaces your base melee filler attack with mongoose bite which increases the attack strength with each successive mongoose bite that you use so it just gets stronger and stronger the more you use it the next talent is going to be bird of prey so attacking the same target as your pet is attacking with mongoose bite will extend the duration of coordinated assault which is this specs burst cooldown that gives you and your pet a percent damage increase by one and a half seconds allowing you to deal massive damage for a longer period of time if you do choose to venture into PvP on a Survival Hunter, which is where it shines, I would recommend using the following PvP talents. Roar of Sacrifice, which gives your pet an ability to give you or an ally a buff that prevents the target from receiving critical hits, but a portion of the damage is transferred to the pet. The next talent would be Mending Bandage, giving you the ability to heal yourself or an ally in PvP if you escape from your target by clearing all bleeds, poisons, and diseases and heal you for 30%. HP over six seconds. Now this unfortunately will break when damage is taken, so it needs to be used when you've escaped and aren't also affected by magical damage dealing abilities because those will cancel this out. Our last talent is going to be Survival Tactics, which is a PvP talent that increases the strength of your feigned death, having it reduce your damage taken by 99% for one and a half seconds and cause you to remove all harmful magical effects. Now, in terms of a pet that I would recommend for Hunter, I do recommend using a Ferocity pet of choice for PvE and a Raptor for PvP. When actually dealing damage as a survival hunter, though, you're going to want to maintain Serpent Sting, which is a dot on your target at as many targets as possible. You will also then be casting Wildfire Bomb on cooldown to give you the dot from it as high of a uptime as physically possible. Don't cast two Wildfire Bombs, though, in quick succession, though, as you don't want to overwrite the dot. You want to use the second charge when you need to actually refresh it. After that, you're going to want to use Kill Command to get the Blood Seeker bleed up and then start going into that Mongoose Bite spam. Now, if you're outnumbered by a lot of enemies, though, use Carve here on cooldown as it's like a big AoE cleave skill. From there, you're going to want to use Kill Command on cooldown to keep regenerating focus and maintain that bleed and then just keep spamming that Mongoose Bite until you need to start refreshing your other dots. 
In terms of going into like a big offensive burst, you're going to want to use coordinated assault whenever you need to deal big damage to your enemies as it increases the damage you and your pet deal by 20%. It also gives kill command a higher chance to reset its own cooldown so you can get really, really quick successive kill commands. Now, be sure though to use a ton of mongoose bites during this cooldown so that you can keep it up as long as possible since we are last talent is buffing coordinated assault uh, is, is extending the duration of coordinated assault the more mongoose bites that we use. Now, if you do need to cut your enemies or deal all of your damage at a range, I would also recommend popping Aspect of the Eagle to give your Mongoose Bite a 40-yard range, which is really, really cool. When you're in a group, you're going to want to use Primal Rage from your Ferocity Pet right when the big boss fight starts to give you and your group a massive haste buff, increasing the speed at which everyone can use their skills. Finally, use Kill Shot when your enemy is below 20% HP for a big burst of damage. Now, defensively, again, it's going to be similar to the other two specs. Use Disengage to get away from your enemies or a negative spell in a pinch, all while granting yourself a nice burst of speed. And if you do find that you need even more speed than that, go ahead and use Aspect of the Cheetah. If you're taking a ton of damage and need to stop it so that you can escape, you're going to pop a pop Aspect of the Turtle. And also, you want to use Exhilaration if you need a big heal in a pinch and Men Pet when your pet needs one. You're going to want to use Intimidation to stun your enemy to release some pressure off of you for a short time. Freezing Trap can also be good to CC particular enemies while you fight others, but as I've already said, keep in mind this will break on any damage. Tar Trap and Concussive Shot are good for slowing down enemies so that they have trouble reaching you. Now, in terms of a stat priority for Survival Hunter, Haste is your most important stat here due to you being a very dot-focused spec, followed by an equal crystal, uh, Critical Strike and Versatility. Both play a great role for Survival Hunter, Mastery being your least important of those secondary stats. And again, in terms of Covenant information, I do recommend using Kyrian, just super strong Covenant for Hunters, with your recommended Legendary being Memory of Wildfire Cluster. Now, guys, on that note, that is going to be it for me today for my beginner guide for Hunters in World of Warcraft. Hopefully, you guys learned something from this and you did find this video very useful. And if you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on it. If you have any questions about Hunters, feel free to go ahead and leave them below. If you have any questions about the rotations, any of the talents I chose, again, feel free to leave those comments. And guys, of course, subscribe to keep up to date with all the content I put out here on my YouTube channel for World of Warcraft. If you also want to see a written version of this guide, you can find it over on my website, dotsgaming.com. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.